Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to share this. I designed this up in a combination of OpenSCAD and Tinkercad. What this is, is a rack-mounted spool holder. So the idea is, is you take these, and this clips on a rack, and I'll have an overlay up there. So this clips on the rack, and then what happens is you take, I think this is an uh, uh, inch and a half pipe. Yeah, a uh, half inch pipe, sorry. Half inch pipe. And then what happens is it just slides through here like this, and you take these two, slide it on here like this, and the spools go on here. So you can use this for storage or actually feeding the printer. Now, one of the things, again, I'll have an overlay up there, is I'm setting up my smaller printers on this wire rack shelf. I've have, actually, I've got a lot of wire rack shelves here in my workshop. And what I'm doing is staging them on there and then putting the spools on here and then feeding the plastic over. And, and so I can run sort of like mini printer farms. So that's why I decided to whip these up because I looked for a solution to this and I really didn't see one that was rather interesting. Now with these, I've kind of built them up a little bit so that handles the weight. But one of the things I wanted to show that I thought was rather interesting was these these are clones of one another in other words i designed one and i simply in in uh, cura replicated it however one of the things to note right in here this whole piece never printed and i'll probably be doing an overlay up there of it printing but this was really interesting it just decided cura decided not to print anything here so again structurally it's fine but I, I was really interested in why Cura's failure to print this now this had printed I had printed them sort of like this you'll see in the overlay and I don't know maybe and I allowed Cura to place these I didn't place these on the bed I just clicked the one I said multiply by one and this is what I got and this is what interestingly happened now I'm gonna do a couple more of these uh, for some other printers and also storage because again uh, you can put these on the back, on the side, like I have it up there, uh, you know, on the wire rack. So these are very versatile to, to go on there. So I'm going to use them for storage as well as feeding. So anyways, I'll have this out on Thingiverse, and the link will be down below. So if you want to print them out, you have wire racks, and you want to create spools, spool farms, printer farms, these are what to do it with. So anyways, hopefully you found this uh, brief video interesting and this an interesting design. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to follow us on Thingiverse. I put out regular designs. I think I'm up to pretty close to around 200 at this point of designs out on Thingiverse. So got a lot of stuff out there. Great stuff. Um, and hey, don't forget Swag Shop. Yep, almost forgot that. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we print or build something else. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.